Hi folks, Doc Jake from Sioux Nation Ag Center here. You may have heard of the cattle disease BVD and always wondered what it meant and what it stood for. Bad ventriloquist dummy. No. Bland vegetable diet. Still no. Bad vibes, dude. Definitely not. No, BVD stands for bovine viral diarrhea. Oh, right. Yeah. With a name like bovine viral diarrhea, you may think the biggest problem we would be seeing is scours in cattle. But in fact, BVD's biggest problems are pneumonia in calves and causing abortions in cows that are bred. In fact, due to these problems, you'll notice that BVD is in all the different five-way vaccines for pneumonia for calves, as well as in the vaccines that you see for cows for pre-breeding shots. This is why the virus has so many different problems for us, is because it causes all these different disease syndromes. One of the worst parts about BVD are persistently infected calves. These calves, known as PI calves, happen when a cow is infected with BVD somewhere between uh, 100 to 150 days of gestation. What happens is, is that the calf may get the disease in utero and doesn't die from the disease and become aborted, and that calf ends up being able to shed the BVD virus for the rest of its life. The trouble is, is this calf can live for years afterwards, maybe even be part of the breeding herd, still shedding this BVD virus and spreading it to the rest of the herd. If it goes to the feedlot, it can spread it to the rest of the feedlot pen. So PI calves should really be called PITA calves for pain in the... Let's see if Generic Rancher Ron has a question for us. Say, Doc, if I'm concerned about BVD in my cow herd, how can I test for that? That's an excellent question, Generic Rancher Ron. What I would do is test all the calves in the herd. Run them through the chute and grab an ear notch. That's what the lab uses to do the test. Then, from all the calves that test positive, isolate them from the rest of the herd and test their mothers. The positive cows, then, we know could also have BVD. Now, if you want to differentiate between it being a transient infection with BVD or if the animal's a PI, you can always retest them in three weeks. If they come up positive again, then that animal actually is a PI and needs to be eliminated from the herd. Now, the best time of year to do this is prior to breeding season. That way, we can try to eliminate the BVD before we get into the next calf crop so it doesn't affect those calves. Now, that isn't always possible. Another suggestion I would make is to implement a modified live vaccination program. This way we can decrease the symptoms that you would see from any BVD that might be present in the herd or the herd might come in contact with. So if you have any other questions about BVD, feel free to reach out to us at Sioux Nation Ag Center. Our goal is to help you when you have a tough disease situation so that you can get through that so you can get your calves on the right track for good health so you can feed that bottom line. Bad? Your mouth's gonna move, buddy, not just mine. Sorry. Why, that's cold? Oh, it's so cold. Wow, that's dumb. Pregnant cows and no. no. Nah! Now, with a name like bovine viral diarrhea, you may think the biggest problems would be scours in cattle or cows, but Cows are cattle. Hmm.